London, Reuters, Russia tycoon Oleg Deripaska gave evidence in the London High Court on Monday in a case challenging the sale of shares in Norilsk Nickel, Nornickel, GMKN.MM, by soccer club owner Roman Abramovich. Deripaska, making his first public appearance since being made a target of U.S. sanctions, wants to stop Abramovich selling Nornickel shares to another Russian billionaire Vladimir Potanin, saying it violates a 2012 shareholder deal. The hearing, which is expected to last four days, is part of a long-running battle for control of the mining firm, one of the world a Euro trademark's biggest producers of nickel. Deripaska, the CEO owner of N+, ENPLQ.L, and Rizal, 0486.HK, that have also been targeted by US sanctions, told the court he was a euro eki upset that Rosala euro trademark s interests could be seriously damaged a euro when asked about discussions with Potanin. Deripaska, who was dressed in a dark blue suit and tie, spoke to the court in Russian via an interpreter. Deripaska and Potanin have periodically been at loggerheads since Rizal bought a stake in Nornickel just before the 2008 global financial crash. Court documents said Deripaska and Potanin disagreed on how Nornickel should be run. Potanin a Euro trademark s Interos holding said in March it had completed the purchase from Abramovich of a 2% stake in Nornickel, a deal that could be reversed if the London court rules in favor of Rizal. Before purchasing the additional 2%, Potanin had 30.4% of Nornickel, against Rizal a Euro trademark s 27.8% stake. Nornickel is a $27.68 billion company that competes with Brazil a Euro trademark S Vale Vale 5.SA for the rank of the world a Euro trademark S top nickel producer. It is also the world a Euro trademark S largest palladium producer. Abramovich, who also owns England a Euro trademark S Chelsea Football Club, stepped in as a a Euro or e white knight a Euro minority shareholder in 2012 to act as a buffer between Potanin and Deripaska. He and his partners have a stake in Nornickel amounting to 6.3%, including 4.2% that is owned via a Cyprus-based company called Chris Pian. The deal involved a five-year lock-up period, which the court heard was intended to be long enough to a Euro a build trust a Euro. During that period, the parties were barred from selling most of their Nornickel stakes. Deripaska was ranked Russia a Euro trademark s 19th richest man worth $6.7 billion by Forbes magazine before Washington imposed sanctions in April on him, as well as on Rizal and N+, in response to what the United States called Russia a Euro trademark s a Euro Emeline activity a sa Euro. Potanin is expected to appear before the court on Tuesday. The hearing is due to last until Thursday, after which further written submissions are expected. After that, legal sources said the judge could take about two weeks to deliver his judgment.